G'day all. Uh, today I've got the Jensen 20G electrically uh, fired boiler steam engine and this is a transmission that I made on my lathe. Um, it's really like really handy for um, reducing and increasing speeds which is always something uh, that's pretty difficult with these toy steam engines like you're trying to run accessories and they either go too fast or too slow engine hasn't got enough power or it's got too much power and uh, this transmission is able to almost um, I wouldn't say indefinitely but it's pretty close to being able to you change the pulley over you change the inner belt and you can reduce or increase the speed to pretty much anything you want so I've got the transmission belted up to the Jensen the Jensen 20G and then I've got a transmission belted up to this it's a plastic model it's a model off looks like a, a Stuart steam engine and uh, I've made some modifications to this I've put it on this timber plinth and I've made the brass spout on it so it directs the water into the reservoir stopping it from splashing everywhere and also I'll lift this up I took this wheel off when I was making it and put it on my lathe and turned a groove in the plastic so it takes a, a belt also I've had a few queries about the belts that I'm using. These, if you look on eBay, type in PU uh, PU belt. It's just that's what it is. The Chinese call it PU belt or watchmaker's lathe belt, and you'll find it comes in. Um, I've got it. I've got it in four millimeter. Uh, what's this one? Three millimeter. 2 millimeter, you can get it in heaps of different millimeters. It's so it's really handy. If I don't use this, I'm usually using a, a black O-ring. This one, uh, the the PU uh, building is the one that you use a cigarette lighter, melt the two ends, stick it together. The black O-ring, you, you need a special um, super glue, a plastic uh, compatible super glue. But anyway, I'll start up the Jensen, bring it up to boil, and um, I'll come back when that's up to boil, and we'll keep going with the video. See you then. The boiler sounds like it's pretty much up to steam. Put some water in this reservoir. Steam valve on. So you can see how slowly that's pumping. On that's the smallest one on there.
build up to the next one. Going that little bit faster now. And again, it's going that little bit faster. See how slow that pump's going now. So it's worked that transmission that this wheel here is going fairly as a fairly stiff right straight. The steam valve is open full. That engine's going along at a really nice rate. Right. The lights lit up on the generator. And that transmission has slowed that down. Like just look at how slow that is moving. Actually, I'll turn it off just to stop the noise coming through the um, Austin Demon Chuck Pot. But uh, I think that was pretty good demonstration on just how slow these transmissions can uh, slow any accessory that you want to run on a steam engine. They're, they're just handy as a pocket on a shirt. Hope you've enjoyed this. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye now.